You know, I'm sometimes referred to as a messy person. You know, not very organized, just kind of leave stuff everywhere. I don't know where they get it. I n mean, I never leave a mess. I always clean up. I'm always super concerned about where everything's ending up. I make sure there's never any waste. And I always just... You know, I'm super clean, pretty much. I'm like a clean freak. Any germs? No, get 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 yourself some hand sanitizer before you shake my hand. Especially if you just touch the doorknob. It's weird. I don't know where people get it. What is this? It looks to be a spider butt. It is. Now he's scared. What's up, everyone? Dimension 4. Welcome back. FGP Resurrection. We're here. We're gonna do some stuff. And that stuff is not here. That stuff is in. It's over here. So in the last episode, we managed to get some melons. We set up a... World Loader. No. I uh, got the Magnum Torch. It's right there. It's doing awesome things. Night comes. Nothing spawns. It's great. I don't think we have any rabbits spawning anymore. So the ones that are stuck right there would just be trapped there forever. Oh, one of them's a squirrel. I thought they were both rabbits. What a nice place to spawn. I mean, just having a one square meter area to call your own. Okay, so today I'd like to get started on a little project. Uh, basically, the idea is full um, Thumbcraft automation with applied energistics. So I gotta set up a big area for that. It's gonna take a lot of space and I missed two pieces of quartz. Um, I should probably make... Do I not have terminals auto-crafted? I should do that. I should probably auto-craft terminals because I'm going to need quite a few. Uh, uh, do I at least have... I have a panel, so that's... I can't auto craft panels. Um, this takes that, takes that, takes that, takes that. I know how to make these. Um, I have no quartz glass. Make some quartz glass. I'm out of sand. <laughs> well, this was well planned, so I guess we can't do that right now. But what I can do is I can start uh, laying out foundation for this. What I'm thinking. This, this is just went through my mind. It's a floating island thing, just in this area right here. And on the floating island is a tree stump. These tree stumps are pretty cool. And all this stuff is just going to be inside the tree stump. So I'm going to start here by making kind of a circular shape. And I'm going to put my harness on so I don't fall. I'm doing things at a high height, wear a harness. Just kind of a rough circle shape, not doing, not trying to be too exact. Uh, move that piece. Okay, that is not very circular. That's why you wear a harness. Hmm. I don't have my shovel on me either. Let's just take out that, and then this one that there. Does that look? It's getting better. Oh, I can't. I gotta stand on this so I don't. Because when you're hovering, you don't get as much mining speed. Uh, let's try Run this back one more time. This back one more time. This back two times. Because it's also too far this way. Actually, no, it's not. That's the corner. Hmm. This little corner. Does it need to be a square island? A perfectly circular? It doesn't. Um, what I might do is actually spend, extend this path out a little bit. So if you look at a circle, I, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, just just give me like two minutes, and I'm gonna try to get a decent circle here. <laughs> okay, just finished up the dirt circle. Pretty adorable. Uh, 
obviously it's not gonna be this flat. I'm gonna shape it and stuff once I get more dirt, cause this is literally all the dirt I have right now. Right here. That's all, that's all I got left. To make this big old circle. So, uh, tree trunk. It's gonna take a bit of wood. It's not gonna be entirely like the logs. It's gonna be some planks thrown in. It's gonna be some other stuff thrown in. I also made a ton of these arcane stone blocks. And I made a few thaumium blocks, but not many. I plan on cutting them up, because um, I just had some uh, bit of gold like this. I don't have much actual gold, so I'm using fantasy block gold. But you know, uh, same idea. So if you just look at like a color scheme that's like this, the gold is just going to be a lot thinner than that. It's not going to be that much, but like the purple, the gray, and the brown, very, very thomic. And I think it should um, turn out pretty nice. So in terms of actually getting this thing to function, I've been thinking about how that'd be you know, possible, and, oh, wow, that gets the whole thing, and just kind of thinking about it, and how, like, infusions work, should be doable, um, the only tough part, I think, would be activating it, but then in terms of monitoring the system and all that, shouldn't be that bad, uh, we could have a computer kind of keeping track of what's going on, but not really controlling the system, it'd be like, okay, something's not right here, this is taking too long, and it set off an alarm, and I'd have to run over and see what's going wrong. And, yeah, so let's get a little foundation here for a big old tree stump. I need a center. Um, let's mark a center. Here's the center this way. It's going to be a little bit towards the back. What if the center was, like, right here? Sure, there's a center marker. So the infusion itself takes up four blocks. I'm just gonna let's see. I already have a matrix. I'm just gonna lay this out because I want twelve pedestals. So that'd be uh, one on each of the cardinal directions and two in between. Do I actually have them? I don't. So here, 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 here. Oops. Look at this. Then I could do one here and here, not there. That'd probably be the best way to do it. But something like this, which is actually, now that I look at it really compressed, I probably want to move these four out one. And the, the other eight can probably stay where they are. So like that, that. I don't want it to look like a diamond though, which I think this might end up looking like. That's not bad. So basically, I'd put in a crafting recipe and it'd just kind of send all the items here and this system would know what to do with it. Um, it would know where to put these things or it would also know if it's trying to do a, um, what do you call it? When you put it in a crucible, when you do a crucible thingy. What's that? Oh, something else. I thought we got the computer craft peripherals mod in the update. Sad face. Um, yeah, so in terms of space around this thing, I'm going to need to have room for um, I have my Thalmanomanomicon right here. I need to have room for all these aspects of magic, or at least all the common ones basically all of them. So let's just count real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 51. I'll leave one for a 50 second if I need it. Then also if we like put something in this extra space. So 52, uh, divide that by 3. It's not divisible by 3. 54 is, so I'll probably go for 54 anyway. Mental math. Um, so that's 6 less than 60, which is 20. So 2 less than 20 is 18 on each side. So how wide is this? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
So how can I do this? I could do... Do I have jars on me? I don't. I use dirt. I'll use these instead. These kind of look like jars. What I could do, because I want two jars for everything, a void jar and a regular jar. So um, the golems will fill up the regular jar and the, then the void jar. So I'll have 128 at any time and it'll always have room for overflow. So two jars each. And I'm planning on doing that in a way kind of like this, where there'd be some kind of support here. So this would go along sideways. And you'd have some jars. Five, six, seven. So here's seven of them right here. And the golem, probably multiple golems. There'll probably be like four golems running through this thing constantly. One just to do this side, one just to do that side. Uh, they probably all have all of them because they pull weird. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of golems. Make sure all this stuff gets out as fast as possible. But I'm not sure if I want to like go further than that and go up here to do like a second row. Because that would definitely save space. And I think it actually look pretty cool. But in terms of golem mobility, it'd be a little tricky for them to get around. So that would mean we'd have something like this for the infusion. Now, I don't actually know how far the infusion thing can reach. I'll probably do some tests or maybe just look it up. Uh, but if it does reach this far, this would actually be pretty cool because it'd make it kind of like a stadium feel, I guess, where there's everything's going down towards the middle. So I'm actually going to go um, do, the, do that testing get some jars, get some actual pedestals, and see just kind of what this will look like. Note to self, great woods, only take a one by one sapling. I was totally supposed to get pedestals, wasn't I? Oh well, I got jars. So, looking at this, I don't think it's exactly what I want, mainly just because there, there's this huge gap right here for the most part. Uh, I could do this, and how much would that help in terms of space? You can get three extra on, on each side. But I'd, I'd like to bring the top ones down as much as possible. Obviously, they're not all going to fit on the bottom row unless I go full circle, which I would like to have an entrance. But if we have to go uh, a little bit further, that's fine. Just like have an archway in and have bottles on that side. And I think that would be just dandy. And I will promise not to say just dandy again. So what does that leave us? It was 9 before, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Not quite 15. Because we can't get this one. So two X on each side. That's four more than... 9, that's 13, 26, 26 times 2 is then 52. So even if this entire side was full, it would be enough. So we can have a few on the top. Um, how much am I willing to put here? What did I just break? Oh, I broke this one. Yeah, this axe will pretty much take the furthest log away that's connected and just bring it to you. Well, I have 52 if I go all the way around. Add the corners, gives me 56. So if I did that, just minus 4 for the center. Actually, technically minus 5, because I only have 51. So theoretically, if I were just to put bottles around like this, we'd have enough. Probably be log right there. If I were to just surround this entire thing in bottles, like this, take out all these upper ones. Oh, the bottle just fell off the edge. Oh, never mind. Just right here. Then it should be exactly 51. Unless I did my math wrong. Which I hope I didn't. 
So the bottles are come all the way out to right here and go up like that. This would be the entrance and we would have some just to show a corner. They would hit this corner and there wouldn't be one here because this one corresponds to that one. This one just had to correspond to that corner one, which will look a little strange, I think. Let's see if we can do anything about that real quick. So right now, if I do this, it looks like that, which just has an empty spot. That doesn't look right. If I were to maybe take this one and push it here to make it more symmetrical, I could then use this as some kind of column. And I think that'd look pretty neat. Something like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is coming along. I'm going to keep progressing on it kind of focus on function right now and once the functions out of the way I'll focus a little bit more on aesthetics it is raining and snowing just strange strange solidity of water falling from the sky yes I want to sleep on that uh, so I've been actually doing some building and you know something it's actually not that bad it's actually so decent i'm gonna approach it facing this way so you can't actually see this is gonna take forever almost there but yeah i had sort of an idea of what i wanted mainly in terms of the building style kind of and the blocks i wanted to use and it's coming along pretty well in terms of that style uh so right here is the entrance and Again, it's me still. Don't expect too much, but I think it's pretty decent for my standards. Ta-da. So I kind of like combined every base aesthetic mod I could. You got micro blocks here. You have uh, carpenter's blocks. Those are carpenter chisel blocks. Um, I used the thumb, the thumbic blocks, sliced them up as thin as I could. So I could basically split spread them out um, not sure what I'm gonna do up higher but I kind of like um, the thomic stuff there and the wood around it but I don't really know but I do like this lower layer I like this lower layer, lower layer a lot um, and what's cool about it is there's actually um, niter behind it this stuff Ooh. so I just made a bunch of it and not only will this provide stability but it'll also provide light so these blocks right here are going to glow and I think that'll be really cool especially when it gets dark and considering the fact this might be open roof might be uh, but I was thinking about it and you know, I was just doing it and I was thinking about how the golems are supposed to get to these um, the jars because this was the only entrance at that point so what I did is remember how back in these corners I had it like this so this one would correspond to there. Um, and that was true for all four corners. But that would mean that every space was taken up. What I did is I put little stairs here into a one block gap, which should be enough for the gobs to get through. So it's like their own little, you, you know, it's, it's like the little servants coming out of holes in like techie areas. Maybe a little rat comes out of a little hole to tie your shoelaces or something. That's its, that's its little rat hole. And it's going to come out, it's going to tie your shoelaces by filling these jars up with essence. And there were, there's one on each side. Um, there were, so there are four jars, and these four jars now take up the four corners, so it works out perfectly number-wise. And it actually doesn't look incredibly horrible, considering the fact that it was kind of put in after. So what I want to do now is I want to grab my uh, equal trade focus and figure out the plan for the floor. Uh, the general idea is going to be great wood logs. Wait, I have to select them. Great wood planks, I mean. It's going to be the general idea. Uh, let's get them under here, too. Okay, I can't, I can't actually tap the jar. Um, so, yeah. I'm also going to disperse in some out of planks. I'm going to disperse in some, what you call it, these arcane stone blocks. They're going to be uh, scattered in here. 
kind of to make some cool ritual looking patterns, maybe like a sigil or something. That was also the kind of the plan I had for this. Um, I have these uh, purpled fantasy block strips because they are so purple. And I was planning on using them and kind of like drawing sigils of some kind in these two spots. Maybe in all four, I don't know. Because you have one there, one there, you could have one there, one there, one there, one there, and two thinner ones here. I might do something different here, but I don't know. So I think that looked pretty cool. They go up to like that high and then just be this golden sigil on a purple background. For no reason, but aesthetics. Uh, and I think that looked pretty neat. Obviously, I may try to find... Oops. I may try to find... Um, a, a look at, like, the si the sigils Stormcraft uses. Oops. That's going to get a lot of blocks outside. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to, like, draw this border so it would then just fill it without going out. Ooh, so pretty. Yeah, this is my first time actually seeing it all, all with the outside stuff. So you can't actually do grass, you can do dirt. Yeah, so that should look pretty cool. It's going to be functional. And that function, I kind of like to get started on today. Even though nowhere near going to get finished with it. But that's, of course, after I finish the floor. And also put in these pedestals, which I've forgotten for like the fourth time. Um, could I move these out and make it look decent? No, that, no, that too much. So yeah, it's going to be the Thumbcraft Room. I think it's gonna I think it's coming along well and hopefully it turns out well in the end. So I was just here, you know, enchan enchanting a shovel. And I noticed we're getting something new. Something new. Hi. Treasure. Common treasure. We got one uncommon treasure. Thomcraft it says. Thomcraft it means. We're gonna take a look inside these. Hopefully we get some good stuff. But I don't know. Open the common ones first. Got an ender pearl, some gold. And same thing. Gold coins are gold ingots. Or gold nuggets, not ingots. Gold coins being gold ingots, that would be pretty neat. So just some gold pretty much. Let's look at this uncommon treasure. Anything good? Ooh. We're being shot at. Hi. Sec, let me get armored up. Charge. Apprentice Ring of Terra and a potion of poison. Cool. Let's put this on. Terra discount. Yeah. Terra's at 79% instead of 80. Uncommon treasure. And this thing's still enchanting. Darn it. We got some more essence. I think this is the only two you ever get from those guys. Bold Angry Zombie. That bold angry zombie about to die. Done? No. Sand for days. Now we got sand for days. Okay, so I've been on here just working at stuff for quite a while now. I'm starting to get a little hungry. And it's a kind of strange hunger that can only be satisfied with a certain so strips. Not potato strips. Let's go pick some fresh potatoes. And let's go cut them the right way. There we go. Some of this. Some of that. Ignore those. That isn't food. A little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And... Yay! I got a bag of chili chips. 
Stop making noise, Bash. I ain't no Bash. I can make all the noise I want. And this should definitely help us get through stuff. So now that we got our snacks, let's go try to get something accomplished besides just building, even though the building does look pretty neat. Uh, so we're going to be doing mostly stuff underneath. Uh, I forgot the pedestals! Ignore this. Nothing happened. You, you didn't see nothing here. So now that we got them snacks, let's say we go build... T I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I can't just do that. No. Um, we're gonna go try to make progress. Um, bump my mouse a bit. So, we can now replace these blocks, which apparently still have dirt on it. That's actually really helpful. I mean, it's gonna be easier to replace the pedestals, which... I have a, I don't have the wand of equal trade on me. Okay, so I'm not oblivious to the fact that I have a wand of equal trade. I don't have it. Um... Uh, kind of need it though cuz you know it's not exactly done yet uh, so we're gonna just jump off the edge here we I'm gonna come down to the bottom I do not have my shovel unfortunately but I'm just gonna do real quick how this is probably gonna work um, I don't have any just placing blocks do I have do I have a shovel okay please have a shovel I don't have a shovel. Make make me a quick. Oh, I never have anything. And also give me some dirt. Okay. So we're gonna have a chest. I'm just gonna take these out because they are not necessary. Oh, I wanted to see what this looked like at night. Totally getting sidetracked. But yeah, it's totally lit. Without that night of there, it would not be lit at all. Very cool. Uh, so we're going to take out some of this dirt, just a few of them to uh, sample it. And then we're going to have a chest. Uh, you know, I can just put the chest right here. And an emerald transport pipe right here. doesn't have to be emerald, it could be wooden, but I had an emerald transport pipe, so why not? And it also lets us have a few more options, which is always good. So from here, it's going to go through... Oh, shoot. I don't want to put this here. Let's do it this way. Because, um... Basically what happens is, it's, if you've never used bullcrap before, it's going to come out of this going really slow, and gold pipes will speed it up. But I didn't want the first pipe to be this diamond one. Because this diamond's going to send him up. So I didn't want it to be diamond. Um, otherwise, that would be no good. So you have that. And I'm just going to kind of circle this around the entire thing, pretty much. I may have to make some modifications to the path later. But for right now, it's just going to circle around. And that's probably good in terms of gold pipes. I could switch to the cobble ones. It should be at pretty much full speed. It is going to slow down eventually, uh, but hopefully by that time it's found pretty much where it needs to go. So I don't have enough pipes to actually do this whole thing uh, because this is probably the least efficient way of doing this. Um, but I'm, I'm just thinking in terms of um, putting items in the filters because if I were to say do this like if you, science binary tree where hits this it could go this way it could go that way depending what side it's on then if I wanted to get an item to here I'd have to specify it in this one in like one right here and in another one right here this way I just have to specify it wherever it has to go which I think it'd be a lot easier so we have that, and then all we have to do is spend like five minutes breaking this plank. Holy cow, that's going to take forever. And I'm just going to drop an item node on top of this. Now the thing with infusions that's going to make this really interesting is their unpredictability. 
because the uh, more unstable something is, the more likely it is for a random item to simply just fly off the pedestal. Or, in even worse, be destroyed altogether, which definitely do not want. And I just remembered, I have to actually get stuff there. Alright. So, real simple fix for that. I made a bunch of vacuum hoppers. And I'm just gonna... That was in the wrong spot. I'm just gonna drop them down. Nope. It, this... Go, go away, any eye. I'm just gonna say... No, not there. Right there, you're gonna output items. So what should happen is this. Oh yeah, it worked. Cool beans. If any of the items ever fall off the pedestals, uh, then they'll just be immediately be picked back up and put back on. And these should have a high enough range so that they'll pick up if their item gets thrown off. If an item, if like this one gets thrown off, uh, this vacuum hop is gonna be closer. So it should pick it up instead of the other one. In theory. Of course, in actuality, nothing's ever what it is in theory. I'm just hoping this works out really nice. So I'm just going to kind of program this a little bit. Of course, we don't have any of the essence stuff or the golems to fill this. But I'm just going to get the basic pipe set up and we'll probably end it there. Okay. So, got this thing kind of starting to be set up. I want to give it a quick test here, even though I don't have the diamonds anymore that I wanted. Uh, so white is the direction that the stuff's going to go, and I have to really watch my fuel right now. So you're going to take that, you're going to take one of these, and you're, the other one's going to take a diamond. Uh, I just want to kind of throw some stuff in, actually just... I would, I would throw in the exact amount because that's what the system would do. Pull the lever and see what happens. Of course, uh, some of the items are probably going to end up going up early because of the fact that I don't have anything in the empty buffers. It's going to randomly choose a direction. And if it chooses wrong... Uh, hello. Come here. Chooses wrong, then that's not good. And nothing's happening. Oh, stuff's happening. not pulling items. There it goes, I guess. See things starting to speed up. That's decided to go up. So these should actually, these are actually going to randomly decide. And did they both decide to go this way? They didn't. One decided to go over here. Uh, so for right now, I can solve that by just tossing in, I don't know, dirt, and dirt, watching that fuel, geez, we're getting low, alright, that's it, no more going under, no more going under, one more quick test, and that'll call it, the system would be like, I want to make a pickaxe of the core, how do I do that, it's going to cost me one great wood log, two um, fire shards, one diamond, and one thaumium pickaxe. It's going to know how to make the thaumium for the pickaxe. And then it's just... Did you? Oh, oh, that's a problem. Huh. The diamond pipe is sending the things up, but it can't go in here, so it's just popping out. I'm going to have to think about that. To end off the episode here, I'm just going to whack this. And this wand isn't charged, so I'm not going to whack it right now. We're going to whack it next time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode where we continue to work on this and make magic auto magic. <laughs> that was terrible. Bye.